Moses, they told me to drive the Negro back from the central area. They felt that way downtown wouldn't become the Black Belt. Uh, it was a childish idea because the streets are still open and, and it, it was a cruel thing. And well, later, as you all know, urban renewal was called Negro removal by the Negroes and by the people who were sympathetic with them. And that's what it was. It almost always tore down the homes of black people or poor people. Good morning. My name is Ken Jobst, and I'm the Vice President of Institutional Effectiveness for Simmons College of Kentucky. Today, I'd like to take a look at Simmons College of Kentucky in demographic context. Now, you may know that Louisville, Kentucky is the nation's fourth most racially segregated city. Cleveland, Ohio, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Detroit, Michigan, and Louisville, Kentucky. Now, the thing that sets Louisville apart from those other cities is that Louisville has an HBCU, which is Simmons College of Kentucky. But Simmons operates in a context of a wider community characterized by some significant income and health disparities. Situated in the 40203 and 40210 zip codes, Simmons is in one of the poorest areas of one of the poorest states in the nation. Now, while Simmons draws students from over a dozen different states, many of our students come from neighborhoods right here in Louisville. Income disparities are particularly pronounced in the Louisville Metropolitan Statistical Area. The 2019 median household income for the United States as a nation was just over $65,000. But the median household income for 40203 and 40210 is less than one third of that at about $20,000 annually. Now let's compare within our own same metropolitan statistical area, we have Prospect, Kentucky, 40059. Prospect's median household income is $145,000 a year, more than seven times that of Simmons neighborhood. Now, if we want a national point of comparison, let's compare 40210 to 90210 the zip code of Beverly Hills, California. Watch this. The average household median income for Beverly Hills, California is $106,000 a year, which is to say there is a broader disparity in household income right here in Louisville's statistical metropolitan statistical area as compared to Beverly Hills, California. Now, very quickly, please make note of this, that we're talking about median household incomes, which means that's the point at which half of the households are above and half below that number. Let that sink in. In 40203 and 40210, half of the households are living on less than 20 thousand dollars a year. The proportion of people in the United States living in poverty is about 11 percent. But in 40210 and 40203, where Simmons is located, the poverty rate is four times that. Now, income disparities are not the only challenge facing the residents of these zip codes. They face health disparities as well. Dr. V. Faye Jones of the University of Louisville Department of Pediatrics cites differences in health outcomes for diabetes, heart disease, asthma, infant mortality, and a 12 and a half year life expectancy disparity between different neighborhoods in Louisville. Consider this. When determining life expectancy, your zip code is more important than your genetic code as a predictor. Wow. Now, 
What role does Simmons have in addressing these health inequities? According to the inaugural Louisville Metro Health Equity Report, educational attainment is one of the strongest predictors of income, and income is directly related to health. The study further states that for each additional year in school, that there is an association with increased life expectancy. So where do we begin to close the health equities gap that exists in our community? Well, we can start with education. Most Simmons College of Kentucky students are first generation college students. The vast majority are eligible for Pell Grants. Now watch. Black men have been a hard to reach demographic for most predominantly white institutions. Across the nation, in four-year colleges and universities, only 4% of the student body is comprised of black male students. Black students nationwide are twice as likely to be female as male. But here at Simmons College of Kentucky, which, by the way, has been co-educational since its beginning over 140 years ago, 52% of the enrolled students are African-American men, and 43% of our graduates are men. In other words, Simmons has 13 times the average proportion of black male students and graduates 11 times the average national proportion. Now, this demonstrates that the educational aspiration and dedication of black male students at Simmons is at a very exceptionally high level. According to the Georgetown University Center on Education and the Workforce, the median lifetime earnings for a person with a bachelor's degree is $2.3 million. Lifetime earnings for a worker with only a high school diploma amounts to $1.3 million. That means that college, a college degree, makes a million dollar difference in a person's life. And here at Simmons College of Kentucky, on commencement day, when our graduates receive their degrees and walk across the stage to shake hands with the president, President Cosby is delivering a million dollar handshake to each and every one of these graduates. So how is it that we shorten the income gap? How is it that we do away with these health equity gaps? How is it that we can increase productivity and improve the quality of life in our community? It's by supporting Simmons College of Kentucky. Thank you so much. And I just do encourage you to come by and take a visit of our campus and support this gem that is hidden in plain sight here at Simmons. Have a great morning.